1995, and myself and Niall and our friend Trish Brennan were approached by the Dublin AIDS Alliance and asked if we would produce the Alternative Miss Ireland as a fundraiser for HIV charities. And we did, and we've been doing it ever since. Yeah, yes. Well, these are detachable cuffs and collars, which I'm going to make a decision on when I'm all painted up and all. And this is for practical purposes. <laughs> that I'll get to wear it afterwards, because that actually comes with, you know, a huge flowing skirt for evening wear. But sometimes, for all terms Ireland, I get these you know, huge big gowns, and I never get to wear them again, because when do I ever get to wear these things? Yeah, maybe a pride or something. This stupid gag makes me laugh every time. Falsies for that glamour look. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's the last one this year for no big drama, but 18 years is a long time to do anything, isn't it? We laugh and say that, oh, she's all grown up, she's a woman now. Something feels right about finishing now. It's good to finish, isn't it, when it's still really strong and Everybody's loving it and everything. I have the running order that you're all coming out in. First person out is going to be Miss Madonna Lucia. <laughs> Two is Alexandra Burka. <laughs> Three, Big Chief Random Willy Girl. <laughs> Four, Mr. Donkey. We jokingly call it Gay Christmas, but it does feel like that. Lots of our gay family, you know, comes to Dublin for it every year. My biological family gathers at Christmas, but my logical family gathers for Gay Christmas. It's gonna be a lot of that. Hi! How y'all doing? Good evening, hello, and welcome to this evening of glamour rooted in despair. Welcome to the HIV of beauty pageants. The older gays got it years ago. The drug addicts aren't really sure how they got it, but they're pretty sure they had a good time. The younger gays only stumbled across it recently when they should have known better. And the hemophiliacs are up in the balcony thinking, what the fuck are we doing here? But the thing that I am going to miss most is every year working with this really incredible bunch of people. And so I really want to say on my behalf and on behalf of the whole of the Alternative Ireland family, to the rest of the Alternative Ireland family, thanks a fucking million. It's been an honor and a privilege. I can't believe I haven't had a feeling in about 15 years and now I'm having one in fucking public. And so the time has come to raise the roof and raise the curtain of this, the heel click and snake fetish and roller coaster and donkey ride known as the alternative is out in 2012. <laughs> The Alternative is Ireland has very much reflected the growth of Ireland's gay community. It started just after decriminalization and as the, you know, the gay community and gay scene here grew and became more confident and more above ground, so to speak. It's sort of a mirror of the gay community in some ways. And I think it's a mirror of all the good things about the gay community. It's actually something I'm really proud to have been involved in.